How's everyone doing? This is Zach Allen. I'm so glad to see playoff hockey back on TV. And it's really interesting because I've worked with a couple different hockey players lately, and I'm just amazed at how well they move through the golf ball. There's no early extension. There's no flipping of their hands and wrist. So, you know, um, obviously they grew up swinging a very different utensil, right? A very different instrument, something that's a lot longer than the golf club. And the other fact to this that's really helpful is when you grip a golf club, right, our hands are together. It's so easy from here to put a lot of force. You can see how far I can move that golf club from here to here, right? I'm putting a large force in the middle of the grip that I can really overuse my hands and get too handsy. And when that starts to happen, my body reacts by standing up. So when you grip a hockey stick, there's only so much that my hands and arms can do. So my body has to be willing to really move and rotate through the golf ball to get into that impact position that they create so well and so consistently. So let's learn what we can kind of do from, from the, the hockey perspective, right? So if I'm hitting a little bit of a slap shot here, right, I've got my hockey stick in my hands and my, 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 my grip is split already. And obviously I'm starting, the stick is already just somewhere on the left side of my body. In order for me to hit it, there's no possible way I'm gonna start flipping this through because I would almost impale myself with the end of the stick. So I've gotta be willing to clear and move through. So you notice how my right side works under as my left side clears, and I very, very much so feel the end of the hockey stick come out on this side of my body before I even get to impact. And boy, what a great feeling. That's exactly what I feel like when I'm hitting great golf shots. I'm bent over, I'm turning through, my hips are clearing, and I've got some shaft lean. I've got my hands in front of the ball, okay? And then you could even hit some if you've got a stick at home. And we get a good sense of what that really feels like. Now obviously most of you don't have a stick, so let's see what we can do with a golf club, okay? I would start off by just taking some swings with your hands split, like you had a little mini hockey stick. And then from here, start to work into impact and get a different sensation of keeping, we call this dynamic posture coming through, as opposed to going like this. And you can see, in order to even do that, I would have to bring my hands together like I was in a golf swing. I really couldn't even do that with a hockey stick. I have to start to rotate around the corner and watch as I get to here, you notice my left hand appear on this side. I feel the grip of the club getting around the corner before the club head ever gets to impact. So I do a couple rehearsals. If you're really brave, you could even try to hit one like that. You're obviously not gonna hit the ball very good, but I did make contact there. My right hand's so much lower, that's basically the opposite of standing up and doing this that we see a lot of golfers do. They get this upright, everything square at impact, and from this face on view, the club is just straight in the middle of their body rather than getting over this way. So we've done a couple drills to feel that. Now with our regular golf grip, we get that same sensation as the split hand, but we're just doing it with the regular grip. Well, I can really feel the end of the club going around the corner before I get to impact. I feel like my hands are over here, the grip is over here before I've even struck the ball. It's a lot of what people call a delayed hit or a late hit. This would be an early hit, right? The club and my body are right there at the same time. I wanna get my body around, 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 bang, my hands are over here, and I finally make contact with the ball. It gives us greater speed and it's just a, a more consistent position. And then you can try and hit some with that same sensation of getting around before you strike the ball. So take that, right? Watch some hockey on TV. Do some drills with your hands split. Even if you're not hitting balls doing it, you're gonna get some great sensations. You're gonna feel more stretch through your hamstrings. You're gonna feel more rotation, more right side bend. Everything that's the dead opposite of just the bad impact position, which is just early extending and coming up and throwing our hands and wrists at the ball at the bottom. All right, I hope that helps and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you really liked it, feel free to subscribe or give me a thumbs up. 
I love hearing from you guys too, so definitely drop a comment with any questions or concerns. But if you really wanna get a lot of my content that's not on YouTube, I have an email list. All you need to do is click the link below, put your email in, and you'll be getting all this content for free that nobody else gets on YouTube. Lessons from me that come out almost every other day. I'll talk to you soon.